Okay. I've been having some problems with this Mitsubishi big screen TV. And you see some white spots on it. That's an indication that the DLP chip is going out. So I'm going to be changing out that chip. And also while I'm at it, I'm going to check and see about the replacing the lamp too because I'm not sure about how many hours are on this lamp. I've had this TV but I don't watch it that much. Anyway there is a code to check that and I believe it is menu 2470 okay so actually it did work and it has 3,866 hours on it, as you can see down the left-hand corner. That's a hell of a lot of TV watching. And I never realized I watched that much. But anyway, that's what it's got. Still a good picture, but I'm probably going to go ahead and change it anyway. That's kind of like a starry night. There's not only that there are white spots, there are a lot of black spots, but they only show up on the white screen. And that's not too often. So, anyway, I'm going to change that chip and see if that fixes it. Okay. I think the first thing, this is how you replace the lamp. It's in here. But we need to take this back panel off. So, it's nearly down here. I think they are basically three screws holding it in. Okay, got this loose. Now I have to take the connectors off. That's one of those you always hope that they're all special so that when you're taking them off, they only have one way to go back on. Okay, that one's off. And we will now take that off. I think I paid like three thousand dollars for this TV. And I guess that shows you that I don't have good sense in a couple of ways. One to spend that much on the television. The other is to take the guts out and start working on it. Okay, so now we should be able to get everything loose. Oh, I didn't need to take it off. Okay, I gotta get down inside. So, thinking if I remember correctly. Yeah, I gotta go in here. Now they had that thing on there as if it was getting ready to go to battle or something. It had seven screws and then two more holding down the area right here. So nine screws. Now the DLP chip is behind this heat sink. So I gotta take this off next. It's only two screws. Okay, I gotta get the circuit board out. So there's one, two, three more five screws. I gotta take those out. Okay. The DLP chip is in here. And that's a picture hole. I don't know what the technical term is, but apparently that would be where the action takes place. So now I'm going to take this off by removing or turning this screw and then this piece picks up and flips over. Alright. Here's the chip. The reason I'm taking all the doing all the trouble of doing this is because this chip cost $185. To buy a refurbished unit is $350 and that's a refurbished light engine. To have somebody come do it it's a thousand bucks. So $185 for doing this, and if it doesn't work, then having somebody else come do it, a thousand bucks, I'd rather have a new TV.
So let me get the other chip. Okay, there's a new chip. It's installed. You just turn that little screw a half a turn around that way to take the old one out, put that one in, turn it, and put this one in. All right, so now I'm just going to reverse the procedure and put it back together. Now it's time to change the lamp. Obviously, take two screws out. And we pull it out. And there's the bulb, which we're going to save in the event we have a television emergency. And I got all these parts, by the way, from Shop Jimmy on the internet. And you know, when you really think about this, I don't know about how old you are, but growing up, and knowing that you had to have the TV repairman come and do everything. Um, and nowadays, with the with the internet, anybody can make their own repairs. I mean, just think of all the things that we're able to do now that we have the internet. So now i got to tighten those two screws and put this thing back in. I should be in business. Okay. It looks like I'm back in business and no spots. And I guess I'm ready to waste another four or five years of my life watching TV.